Welcome to Kansas Esports taking on Central Michigan. Uh, we got some new casters in the booth today. Myself, along with Morphe. This is Morphe here. And um, for those who don't know, I am Mystic. Uh, we're rocking Pedro, Spade, and the real the real jar. jar. Yeah, not just jar, but the real jar. That's his twiddle hander. Just in case if anyone else wants to look him up. But I uh, definitely don't want to follow him on Twitter because you want to follow me on Twitter. Uh, Carter underscore Hicks underscore zero one telling you that's where all the content is uh, But getting into the game uh, four minutes and 30 seconds to go Just kind of popping the ball around not really doing too yeah, much lots of popping going on here And I've got some insider info on sort of like what ranks to expect for this game um, Just some background so we we've got an SSL We've got a GC2 and what another GC2 high GC2 high GC2 GC3 yep and from what we could tell, we've got Central Christian, what are they around, Diamond? Diamond, Diamond 3 champ 1, so it's going to be a probably slower gameplay, maybe a little bit of uh, clips going on for the KU team. Possibly. would love to get some action going here soon, though. Still no goals here. Not, not at all. I, I wonder if the slow pace is, you know, catching Kansas off guard, possibly. You, who knows? Potentially, oh. but a shot by Spade. Gives us Stand a one corrected. nothing lead to start off this game. Three thirty three <laughs> or thirty six, mind you, to go. All right, Mystic. What do you think the goal line will be for this game? Off the bat, we have three minutes and thirty six seconds left. Uh, I think we want to see a high <laughs> high scoring game if possible. Anything. Uh, but if anything, we want to see them having some fun. It looks like they're double oh, committing off the ceiling. That's Both of them wanting to go something for something you love to see. Yes. Probably the double flip reset, which I hear is back on the table. <laughs> $20 for a double flip reset if it comes in. Uh, we do have maybe one player, Spade, who could potentially find yes. an attempt, but not too sure if we're going to get any mechanics out of anyone Papa else. Pedro, but Papa looking Pedro. serious. It, don't let his topper fool you. That is a very serious shot right there. Good pass from Spade. Yeah, he may be playing the bronze decal with the uh, cockroach topper. Uh, I do notice some bronze wheels there bronze as well. Wheels. Did we you know, did we see the boost? Was there bronze bronze boost possibly? There, we'll have to check. It does look like it could be, but after all the reaction to the season rewards it is shocking to see the bronze wheels coming in spade putting that one just a little bit high but straight to papa pedro for his second cleanup. goal yep mastermind uh i'm sure they'll take every chance they can to you know pad their stats they've got to be on top looks like a little bit of a double commit in net for the side of the blue squad tigers but three minutes to go three nothing Pedro leaving that one for Spade, who has an easy save over to Jar. Maybe he gets a redirect, but no, nope, they just send it to their own half. It's in the corner. Can we see a pass come in? Oh, looks like a clear. Pedro, Pedro. taking this to his corner. Just going to play it around to the other side. Maybe try to find Spade on the wall. Jared going <laughs> up. Trying to send one to net. Maybe has the angle. Oh. Just a great save by Johnny. Nothing you can do there. Yep. That's, a, that's a go next, GG. Exactly. You had to get up in the air for that one. Very clean save to the corner. Pedro going to the corner. Spade coming to pop one over. Might be over two. Oh, Jared, Jared looking for the demo instead of the shot. I'm sure he's kicking himself for that one. Could have had his first goal of this game. Well, was it, would it be a second? Did he uh, score I'm the not, first one? I'm not sure. We can actually check. That would be... No, he has yet to find that's, that's a shot zero. in the back of the net this game. Maybe maybe focus less on demos and more on yeah. shooting, possibly. Maybe a shot or two would go a long way with this squad. Two minutes to go. Will we see another goal in the next minute or so, do you think? I want to see a... I, I'm, I'm, I'm casting for the KU team, but, you know, just to make things interesting, what if we got we saw a blue team score here? Oh, we may have one right here, just off the post. Ooh. Spade putting it to the corner. Uh, maybe some miscommunication with the KU squad. But Pedro getting bumped on his way out. He is low on boost, but he is going to manage to get it by one. Someone from the KU squad will surely follow it up, and it's going to be Spade putting it into the corner. Looks like Jar jumping as well. Maybe getting a little too antsy looking for that first goal this series. Oh, he's got a couple of games afterwards to hopefully get his goal in. Looking for Spade on the backboard. He's up, but just denied by Clutch. 
Pager looking for a double tap, but not enough boost to make it work. Jared going for another demo instead of the ball. It seems to be his bread and butter. Uh, not really a fan of hitting the ball, would rather hit the car. He just likes playing bumper cars out on the Rocket League pitch. How possibly he's uh, trying to help out Spade, you know, his so-called so star player, possibly playing a support role, clearing the field. Not necessarily Spade. He might not need it, per se, but anything could help. Pedro looking for a shot. Jared has a pass middle. Spade is there, and he puts it into the bottom left corner. Bottom shot for his second goal of this game. That's right, second goal. Jared with the assist. Yeah, he is making things happen. He does have himself two assists, but he is 0 for 5 in terms of shots to goals. So that is true. There, there is some things to work on with this KU squad. <laughs> yeah, Def some definite improvements. Up 4-0 with 30 seconds to go. Jared and Pedro fighting over who's going to take the shot, but it looks like Pedro wins out on the double touch. Jared getting yet another demolition. Maybe even another shot, but still not a goal. Pedro looking for the top right, just missed, and Spade is denied. Good defense from the side of the Tigers. Pedro going up just to take some time off the clock. Yeah. And with two seconds left, this ball is going to drop, and that is going to be game one. That is game one. Going to Kansas. So, after seeing game one, what do you, what do you think? Is there anything the blue team on the blue team that stuck out to you the tigers what what should they be thinking right now any game plan adjustments yeah tigers need to look for a clear uh they were just struggling on defense a little bit getting the ball out of their half it looks like they were panicking a little bit when it got close to their net and they just needed to really figure out what it was they wanted to do with the ball get it out of uh out of their half and into the other side because it did catch ku off guard a little bit there were a couple times that the ball was hitting the backboard no one was back prepared for the clear so I think if they find a few more stronger touches, maybe they can find their way into a goal this next game. Uh, let's see if they can get some more purpose behind some touches, some good clears, and I don't know. It's going to be tough against this KU squad. Yes, it will. KU needing to find some of those shots into the back of the net this game, I think. But we're going to head into game two, five minutes on the clock, as a friend of mine always says. <laughs> yes. And we're going to get this game underway. Jared looking for an aerial, kind of awkward off the wall. He's going to go for the demo and actually manages to get two people to double right. commit for Pedro for the with a car demo. switch oh. over to I did not Ghostbusters car. He's even got the banner, banner to go along with it. That's right. Ecto-1 making an appearance on the pitch today. You don't see that very often. It's very flashy. Some interesting car choices for sure this game. <laughs> yeah. But Jared winning the kickoff over into the blue half. Spade's going to look for a pass middle. Saved by John. Papa Pedro again. Clean up. 17 seconds in, two, two goals, goals for Papa goals. Pedro. That is... Are we going to see the hat trick? <laughs> Possibly. I, I don't doubt it. Lots of game left. Real question is, will Jared score his goal this game? That is the question waiting to be answered. Everyone getting a ball into the back of the net except for the real jar. <laughs> The so-called best player at KU by mm. his own standards, yet hasn't managed to find a shot into the back of the net against this Tiger squad. We'll, we'll err on the side of him playing support. He is getting some assists and some demos. We'll, we'll just see what he can do for this second half of the game. Oh! Jared finding the Speaking back of, which... of the net. <laughs> Finally, after only took seven shots. But he did manage to find one into the back of the net. 3-0 with yep. 4.22 left to go. And a solid start for this Game 2 KU squad. Yep. It's uh, going to be a tough comeback for the Tigers, but I mean, anything is possible in the game of Rocket League. It's, it's just a tough climb for them, I would say. Jar missing the read off the wall. Maybe ran out of boost. Pedro's going to have to play it to the corner, and he does. Manages to get another touch around them all. The net is wide open. Is anyone going to be there for the put-in? Great Johnny. save by Johnny. Johnny seems to be uh, on that defensive line constantly. Maybe he's, he's there. He's come up clutch a few times in this game, keeping the ball out of their net. They're going to need to find a few more clears like that to keep the ball. He's on it. Back again for the clear. Central Christian with an opportunity here. Has the ball on the KU half, but Pedro finds a clear off to the back wall. Looks like Jar going for yet another demo, maybe going for the Illusion strat this game. <laughs> Possibly. Now that he's finally found his first goal. 
Looks like Jar going for yet another demo while the ball's actually in his half. Uh, someone should maybe mention that there's more to the game than just demos. Pedro finding a redirect off the back ball, but no shot to come from Spade. Almost. Uh, possibly, Jared just has the trust in his teammates. He knows that they're three goals up. He's going for the mad demos. But I would like to see another goal, goal from Jared, uh, Jar. It looks like a little bit of a whiff, but he's actually just going for the bump. He's playing mind games with them. And this Central Christian team does not know what to do right now. Lots of pops. Yeah, it's Spade kind of dusting his teammates, but he is going to find a shot just off the top bar. Pedro going for another shot, and that should be the hat trick the for hat Papa trick. Pedro. Amazing work. Great pass from Spade. A little dish out in front of the net, and Johnny's just a little past uh, back post, and it's unable to get the save there. 2.46 left to go, 4-0. Can we see a shot and a goal for this Central Christian Tigers team? We do have a shot from Johnny, at least. They yeah. have a shot. That is, we can give them that. Would like to see KU put on the back burner for one of these. Spade met on the ball by Clutch. Pedro looking for maybe a double touch opportunity, but it just goes wide. Jared's going to have to take this one and put it back in. This bomb. Spade's there for the clear, and he's going to look for a double touch of his own. Maybe a flip reset off the wall, but he doesn't have the boost to score it. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, but Pedro almost dropping that one in. Pedro is going to try to dribble this in, but is denied. As this could be an opportunity for the Tigers here to score. Oh, good almost. shot opportunity just wide. Spade playing some good defense, making it so that he had the net covered. Exactly. Nowhere to really put the ball, but off to the corner. Pedro kind of looking a little awkward on wall. Some bumps coming out from uh, the Tigers, but it looks like Mason's got the clear to their corner. Possibly a flip reset. Doesn't look like it. Jar still going for those bumps in the corner, being an absolute menace off the ball. An open net maybe for Spade, but he's met on a 50, and now the ball has been pinched over into the orange half with a minute 30 to go. The game is looking like it's getting out of hand, and the Tigers are going to need to find some quick goals here if they want to get back into this game. Yes, it's, they need to find some sort of offense and get more shots on that. More shots equals more chances to score on this KU defense, but so far it's looking a little sparse. Jared looking for a pass over to Spade. He puts it back up to Jar. Pedro with the oh. redirect, but it's not quite fast enough. Not, just, Almost an own goal from the side of the Central Christian Tigers, and Pedro just backs off, decides to go get some boost, and leave it for Spade in the corner. Oh, what a fake from Spade. He's fake pass one. Ariel, oh, but it is denied by Johnny yet again. Johnny he has been a rock on the defense for this squad. The iron curtain right in front of their net. Oh, but Jared finds his second goal. I can hear him saying bang. He is yep. very excited about that one. A speedy 58-mile-an-hour goal right off the ground, <laughs> skidding into the net. 38 seconds left. Let's see what else entails for the rest of this game. Possibly another goal, maybe. Pedro winning the kickoff into blue half. Spade is up, but it is off the ceiling, and there's no one there from the side of KU to do anything with it. Pedro does pop it up over one, leaving it for Jared, who is kind of behind the ball. Uh, oh, and they leave it for uh, Spade, but he wasn't ready, couldn't read what Jared was doing, and nearly gave up a goal. The first goal. Oh. This could be a shot for Jar, and there it is. Jared. Believe it or not. This man has a hat trick in this With game. his own hat trick. Pedro got the first hat trick in this game, and then Jared off finishing. Am I right? Is that right? Yes. From 0 game. for 6 to 3 for 3 between games 1 and 2, evening. Jar has really turned it up in That's this right. game. He's evening out his shot percentage. That's what we like to see. He, he might have heard you casting and, you know, decided to go for some more offensive plays. Oh, going my. for the flip reset musty with one second left. It looks like this is going to drop and that will be a 6-0 KU victory in game number two. Yes, now this is a best of three, so is it a best of three? That's best it's of a three. best of five. five. Best of five. They need oh, to yeah, win best three games. That's right. So, you have to win three. If KU gets this next game, that would be series. Um, possibly maybe another car change we'll see from Pedro. Yeah, I'm curious see. to see what he comes out with this game. Uh, it was your MVP in game number two. That's right. 
Uh, looks like we have someone subbing in for the Tigers here. Uh, might just be a second, but we We've will got have a little bit of a delay while they determine their roster for this upcoming match. But game three, what needs to change for this side? Hopefully their sub coming in has got some, uh, some decent shot potential because last game they had, what, two shots? Uh, they need to find some sort of offense to get some goals in because right now 6-0 from game two. Game one was up there as well. Um, let's see. Yeah. Looks like we are going to get a sub. I'm not sure if we are wanting to take that five-minute break. I don't. Um, but in the meantime, we can kind of catch up on recapping these first two games. So far, we've seen some pretty dominant victories from the side of the KU squad. Um, and not very much offense coming on the side of the Central Christian Tigers. Yeah, they seem to have a lot of touches, but maybe not the great greatest clears. Um, they might hit it away from them themselves. Uh, they just seem a little bit outpaced, I would say. But definitely the faster team on the side of KU. It looks like we are just going to jump maybe possibly, straight into this third game. If there's subs here. Okay, yeah. Looks, looks like we like are getting some readies. Yep. And so we are going to get moving on with this third game. I remember, best of five. So KU is up two games in the series. And we have five minutes on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro looking for this one. He's got the Fortnite Llama, Llama Rama. Llama Rama car this time. And he's got a <laughs> shot. That's it's very efficient. He is that seems a white to be octane shots. I see as well. Is that? Let's white see. Octane, Llama Rama, a car combination wow. I have wow. never seen before in my Rocket League career. I, I can't say I've seen it either. It's quite we, the combo. We do have KU getting the first goal of game three, up 1-0, eight seconds in. Pedro popping it up. Jared coming off of the wall. Doesn't quite have the shot, but he is going to leap for Spade in the corner. Maybe get a pass middle over to Pedro for his second goal, but it is cleared by Johnny into the corner and sent into the orange half. Pedro putting this one off the wall. Solid clear. Maybe a redirect oh. off the backboard. Jar is there, but he has misread the touch and is now out of position, waiting on backboard. Maybe for a pass. He's going to look for Pedro, Pedro, but it is a little bit strong, so Pedro's going to have to put that off to the side and instead just go off the wall and maybe look for a pass middle did have some good control controlling it around that corner getting it out to Jared don't know if Mason got or Spade got bumped there but no shot coming through Spade kind of getting dusted it is an open net right now a whiff coming out from Pedro almost could it be oh the clear from Papa Pedro almost their first goal of the series looking for the flip reset doesn't quite get it by him but it is going to be a free ball for Pedro, who just pops it up over one. Manages to get the flip pass to, and now looking for a pass middle, someone to give it to. <laughs> Not to Jared, or the real jar, I should say. Um, there's three minutes and 27 seconds left, and KU only has one goal. What, what, what do you think is happening right now? Do you think KU should have had more goals right now? Well, I definitely think they are not finding themselves playing at their full potential right now. Uh, it does look to be that they are maybe going for a little bit more difficult shots than they need to be, and it's almost costing them on some of these plays. They are finding some transition opportunities <laughs> on the side of uh, the Tigers here, but yeah, not quite managing to find anything into the back of the net quite yet. Yeah, and I think earlier we saw Spade with a, a save for the Tigers. Not sure how that one would uh, happen. But. Oh, putting it off the backboard. Maybe looking for the double touch, and he does find it. Past two players into the middle of the net. If you see a ball on the backboard, you can trust Spade for the double touch because that is what he's known for. Putting it in, very solid. Okay, you up two to nothing with 2:43 left to go. Would like to see maybe some more goals on both sides rather than. Some demos coming out usually from Jar. That's right. Would like to see some more ball touches, just like this one, but he whiffs. Ooh, ran out of Maybe boost. that's why he goes for demos, because he can't hit the ball. 
But looks like Spade is just going to play this off the wall into the middle of the field. Papa Pedro almost with a touch to redirect, but it looked like he was just rotating back. Jar still on this one. The ball's middle. There is an opportunity for a goal, but it is shut down by Pedro. Almost caught backwards, but he did end up finding the save there. Jar low on boost, looking for the 50. It's going to be popped up, but Pedro is not quite there, and it's going to leave Spade on defense. Who does get dunked, and there is a scoring opportunity. Clutches up, putting the ball middle. Nobody on the side of the Tigers going up for that one, and it is just going to be an easy clear for the side of KU. Decent Pedro looking for the clutch. dribble is going to be denied. Uh, ball kind of in the middle of the field looking for someone, but no one able to jump on that one. Looks like this is over clutch. Jared going for the follow touch. Will Mason be mid? That is a pinch straight across the net. Probably not able to catch that one, even with boost. Pedro waiting to determine what in the world Jar is doing on the ball right now. Um, but it does look like a shot opportunity for the side of KU. It pinches what straight up, and Spade is there. <laughs> oh! The bump from Jar coming back out. A full team play. What a pass. Pinch from Papa Pedro. Mason up quick for the shot down towards the bottom, and bounces. Oh, it was a team bump. And, oh. I did Jar not, not actually getting the bump on there. It was actually one of the Tigers' own players taking off his teammate. Oh, I guess we were mistaken. Oh, my. Got launched. No one back on defense. There we are. There's Pedro. Back post. Pedro looking for the clear. Doesn't quite find it, but it should be easy enough for Jar. But he is beat to this ball. A demo in net leaves it open, but Jar finds the clear to the corner. Put back middle, but no one is able to make connection. Pedro is sending it over to his teammate. And now maybe another passing play opportunity. Looking for the bump. Doesn't quite get it. But with the ball middle, Pedro can be there. He can put a shot on just quite past the net. Couldn't yeah. quite get there. We've got two of our offensive players in their corner, but it looks like a demo comes out to help even things out. And maybe a, a team bump, but still plenty of space on the field. Decides he to leave fakes. the ball again. Goes Go for the straight bump. for the demo. And oh. now with an open net, Spade is going to make this a 4 to nothing lead with 23 seconds left. Yeah. Uh, I... Don't want to call it quite too early, but it does look like this might be the series for the side of Kansas. Yes, based on previous games, 23 seconds left. This would be the last game of the series if KU takes it, which it looks like they will. Spain in the corner. Waiting patiently. Seeing a touch. Didn't see that one. He's got his other teammate up. It is just going to 15. Dribble this ball into the corner. Maybe look for a shot opportunity. Looking for the reset. Just gets one by him and is able to dish this one out middle to Pedro. Another goal with three seconds left up five to nothing. This game is all but over. Just dotting the I's and crossing the T's at this point. You can't stop the Lama Rama Mobile. He's going straight for every goal he can. What is that? Is that a hat trick? Not quite. Mace, uh, Spade does have his hat trick. And Ball's still up. Maybe looking for another goal. A pop. Can they keep it up? Off the corner, it is just going to go down. Pedro's there to keep it up, but Jared <laughs> fakes him out. And that is going to be the series. Three games to none on the side of Kansas. An overall pretty dominant couple games. Yep. They were given quite a bit of space. Um, they had all the clears that they needed. They seemed to be a little bit in control. Um, Rocket League's a very high skill ceiling type of game, so sometimes games like these, ha series like these happen. Uh, there's a lot of skill gap if uh, you'll you'll notice the skill gap when you see it. That is true. I do believe we are going to try to get an interview yes. going on in here. Maybe pull one of the KU players in to talk about their series. Uh, so we will be right back as soon as we get that going. Yes, let's go.
All right, and we have Jar with us to talk about that series. First question, just right off the bat, what was the game plan going in to this series? You know, uh, we realized the rank of our opponents uh, just before the game. We saw they were a little bit lower ranked than us, so we figured we should have this one in the bag. Um, so, you know, we were just trying to play consistent, smart, and, uh, you know, rely on our mechanics to uh, keep us going on throughout the series. Definitely looked like an outclassing in terms of skill a little bit. I uh, do want to bring up Papa Pedro this series. A couple different car changes, <laughs> a lot of goals. What is, ha, how has it been playing with the new teammates so far this season? Dude, I actually love Pedro. He's a, he's a great teammate for sure. Um, his, his car troubles were definitely apparent though. He was trying to get the Fortnite car at the end that you saw. Uh, that's what he was trying to switch to in between games uh, for game two, but he ended up pulling out the Ghostbusters car. Uh. Um, and he, a he actually enjoyed it, but I don't know about that one. I, I hope we don't see that one again, is all I'm going to say. <laughs> that, that was something interesting. We had some fun talking about the car changes. I do want to bring up, it, it did seem you were having a little bit of trouble finding connection with the ball today, so it was the demo is just a mid-game decision? Were you uh, going into the games thinking you were just going to be a demolition demon, as they call you? You know, uh, they do They do call me the demolition demon. I got that as uh, my tag. I've got the WWE uh, Smackdown Live banner as well, so you know, it's uh, definitely something that I like to pursue. Um, but I, I, I know my teammates. I trust my teammates like we were just talking about Pedro as well as uh, Spade. He's, uh, he's really good as well. So definitely like to just rely on them, honestly. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't need to touch the ball. If I can eliminate the defender, you know, we, we don't need to touch the ball. So uh, stick to the demos. That was the game plan after game one. So, you know, I think it worked out pretty well. Yep, fair enough. Definitely can't argue with those results. Uh, I guess final thing, do you have any shout outs or things you want to bring up or say? Um, shout out to my mom, she couldn't make this one, uh, I know she likes to watch these. Uh, shout out to the casters coming in today, their first ever cast, hello, yes, sir. Yes, Mystic sir. and Morphew over there standing out at the side because he didn't want to do the interview, but uh, you know, thanks to everyone that watched that, it was a great series, I'm sure to, uh, to watch, I'm sure it was entertaining, I can't wait to watch it myself, so you know, big thanks to you guys and of course our program director Danny. Of course. Uh, well, thank you for taking the time to come in, answer some questions, and thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we are going to go ahead and wrap up, but it was a great series to watch. So, well, yeah, thank you guys. Have a good one.